So I'm here in Excel and I've imported some data and the year here has come in as text and I want it as a number because I might want it for filtering and I want, might want to check between two particular years. Maybe I want to use it in the average ifs function over here where I can put in criteria and I would prefer this was actually a number. I know it's text because it's lined up on the left. If it was lined up on the right, it would be a number. Unless, of course, I went and deliberately used the alignment tools to align it, but I haven't. So there are two ways I can actually deal with this. One is with a function, and the other one is I can actually just cleverly use copy and paste. Let me show you the copy and paste because I've got this over here right now. So let's right click. This works the same whether you're using a Mac or Windows, I'm using Windows here. So let's just hit copy. Let's click here and I'm going to just paste. Let's just choose ordinary paste. And when I do, you can see in the top left corner, it's got a little, little flag over here. And you can see over here, it's kind of got this exclamation mark, which is a warning. So let's click here and look at that, convert to number. Let's do that. And look at that, it quickly goes through and converts it to a number. And you can see it's on the right. Let's just undo that and undo that again. Because the other thing I could have done is I could have just pasted over it. I often don't like doing that just in case I'm going to delete any data, but we have undo and I have saved it. So I'm going to right click here, I'm going to choose that same paste option. And you see it's come up there and I can convert to number. Fantastic, that's done. Really simple. But you might want to do it with a function. So I'm going to do that now. Let's just undo that and undo that again. Okay, so I'm over here in this column. Now, what I would normally do is I would go into my insert function here on the formula bar and I would type in value. Now here on this version in Windows, when I click on go, it would normally find it on this list and it would come up, but it hasn't. Interestingly, on the Mac version, it does. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit cancel. I'm going to go into my formulas up at the top here. I'm going to choose text. And if I scroll down, it is here. There it is, value. Another useful one, value to text, which does the other way around. So let's just choose value. All I do is click on that first one there of the year, click on OK, and I can now click and drag this down. Now, someone the other day actually commented that when they did that, it lost their cell formatting and they lost the borders and things like that. Let me just undo that because what you can do is if you've got cell borders, it could actually mess it up. I'm going to right click and drag it down. And then I'm going to fill without formatting. So then if I did have any cell borders or anything like that, it wouldn't interfere with it. Okay, so there you have it. That's how you can do it. Now, let me just delete that. Now, just to show you, because it didn't actually appear when I went into insert function, you could just type in equals value with the bracket. Click over here. You don't need the end bracket. It'll fill that bit in for you in this instance. And I could now do the same again. Let's right click and drag that down and fill without formatting. There you have it. Oh, it's done something a bit odd to this one down the bottom. It's formatted it, which I don't want. So let me just go back here, a little extra bonus over here for you. Let's just go to general and it's got rid of that formatting there. So that's how you can convert a number into text. You might actually want to convert something from that's come in as a number into some text. So I'd do that in another video. You'll find the link below. Thanks for watching. If you do like this, please do like, share and subscribe and come back for more. I have plenty of videos on my channel.